basic like we are adding we are selecting the countries or states or something we call some selection we are using drop down list likewise we are going to use here also but little bit variation in real time i will show you what the things is going on here i am just renaming this id as list one or i am just to drag and drop the drop down list you can found in the toolbox now there is a empty list actually here it's contain the empty values so i am just running the application you can see this thing i am just to only drawing just to drop down drag the drop down list once so there is no items on error actually normally drop down list is used for the collection of list it's contains some collection of list values you can select and you can pause the value what you are selected to the database that retrieving and binding and adding this value i will show you in real time in the c sharp tutorial you can see the c sharp tutorial and you can easily understand the things and just running it is a first time so it's loading a little bit slow and then next time some more yeah you can see some drop down little bit because there is no data in this no items so it's showing a little bit let me see how is how are we going to add the list that means the values inside the drop down list I am going to see or show you how to add the items in design side. That means in client side. In simple English, I am just telling you the design side. That means in HTML page. This is HTML page. That is a dot CSS file. Is the backend file. There we are using in C sharp. Here I am using the ASP dot net controls. You can edit the items and add. That is a list items. you can give the text that means what are the text you need to be place it be visible for example yeah. like i am just giving one names like arun okay this is a value he is a first first person if i select arun it stores the value in the database as first likewise i am going to place the data i am just adding more data you can easily understand Yeah, now you are seeing right the arrow because that is a first value. I am just reloading the application. It's defaultly it will take it will display the first value what we entered in this drop down list. Yes. is a drop down yeah now i added the three list items in the drop down list it's showing this items in the drop down okay here we going to see some two important properties 
I'm going to see you uh, uh, extra uh, properties attribute called selected and enabled. Let me see first selected. Selected you normally you can um, in normal words selected means the person who are selected he will come first. Like that um, here we uh, that selected functionality is using here that selected attributes sorry the wordings you must be spell out and you used that is a correct formula because sometimes I will confuse and use some other words instead of the attributes like this right so you can little bit confuse and if you have any doubt you just come out and I will explain you that in details In properties you can see here there is some uh, attribute name as selected mm. okay no issue oh, sorry actually I searched for drop down you just select one list item and you can see in the properties something enable and selected first we see select so I am just giving the selected as true for the list item named as current let me see how it's work. Yes, now instead of our room, current is coming first, right? Now you can easily understand what settings is going on here. What whenever you are running this application or running this page. If you run this drop down, which items be selected, it comes first, and remaining business comes back. Likewise, we are using this selected attribute here. Then we are going to see enabled attribute. I am just giving selected as false. Okay, no issue. You can uh, remove this attribute if you want. Okay, no problem. I am just enabled as false here enabled you know 